My name is uh, Peter Longerich, and I wrote a book called Holocaust. It's a bit different from other histories of the Holocaust because I'm concentrating on the perpetrators. I think that if one tries to explain the Holocaust, and that's my idea that one can explain it, one has to look at the people who killed the European Jews. My argument is that the persecution and murder of European Jews is central for the understanding of the Nazi regime. Therefore, I started in 1933 and tried to explain, first of all, how a regime came into power which um, based its rule on race, racial or racist inequality. And central for this idea of racial inequality is, of course, if you look into European history, it's not difficult to understand that, the exclusion, discrimination against of the Jews. And so the groundwork for persecution was actually laid in the years 1933 to 1939. When the war started in 1939, of course, the anti-Jewish policy of the regime became more radical. The first murder started in 1939. And leading figures of the regime started to think about a plan to somehow get rid of the Jews, to bring about a, a, an end to Jewish life in Europe. And these vague plans then from 1939 onwards in 1941, 1942, were translated into a plan, into a program of systematic extermination of European Jews. And I'm trying in the book to reconstruct this decision-making process in fine detail, but I'm also trying to say that after 1942, after the systematic murder of the Jews started, decision-making didn't stop. Actually, decisions on the fate of individual Jews, decisions on the fate of million Jews, were taken until the very last day of the war.